Hello everyone. Hopefully you're all having a great week. An awesome weekend lies ahead. That being said, you might remember a few weeks ago I mentioned that SpaceX will start work on Starship SN2. At the same time as work on Starship SN1 is about to start. And surprise, surprise, Elon Musk has confirmed on Twitter that indeed SpaceX has started work on Starship SN2, which by all looks is about a few weeks behind Starship SN1. Elon Musk has offered a new glimpse inside the company's rapidly expanding South Texas Starship factory, revealing the beginning of the next generation rocket's first true assembly line. SpaceX, as I reported earlier, plans to expand its Boca Chica facility to continuously churn out Starships, and the rate at which this facility churns out Starships will dictate how fast Elon Musk's vision of million people on Mars can be achieved. I don't want to sound like a broken record, and with the risk of sounding like one, I'll just repeat what Elon Musk is talking about. Elon Musk recently outlined vision of what he hopes to happen in not too distant future. Elon Musk's vision consists of million people living on Mars by 2050. This plan includes a construction of 1,000 starships by 2033, maybe, at the rate of 100 starships per year. I know it sounds really mad to some, sci-fi to most of us, and very brave to few of us. The plan calls for construction of 1,000 starships that will cast off for Mars every two years when Mars is in opposition or, i.e., nearest to Earth in the orbit around the Sun. This plan also envisions a construction of a massive city on Mars that will be home to around 1 million people by 2050. The vision is so bold, so out of this world, literally, it makes any mention by anyone else sound totally ridiculous. Elon Musk saying it all, this makes everything plausible, doable and quite likely with slight hitch. Elon time isn't exactly a reliable time frame, so add at least another 10 years to 2050 and Elon Musk might actually do it. That being said, expansion work on SpaceX Boca Chica facility is progressing rapidly. I mean, by the end of March, SpaceX will be way ahead of schedule, said by Elon Musk for the location. The long-term plan saw construction of a number of test facilities, assembly hangars and vehicle assembly buildings. At least two VARBs or vehicle assembly buildings are planned to be completed by the end of April, May timeframe. Again, this was original plan, but with current construction of second such facility, it is clear SpaceX is aiming at much faster rate of Starship construction than what was originally planned. This has a lot to do with the fact that SpaceX is relocating all its staff from Cocoa, Florida SpaceX facility, which is now being shut down, with staff from that facility moved to SpaceX Boca Chica facility. This allows SpaceX to work on several starships at the same time, at the same facility. If SpaceX plans to fulfill Elon Musk's vision of 1,000 starships, the facility at Boca Chica will need to expand dramatically to encompass current facility, all the residential homes at Boca Chica Village, and entire surrounding area that might encompass around 20 square kilometers. SpaceX, to remind you all, also plans to expand in Florida at Kennedy Space Center complex, where SpaceX has leased significant assets and plans to build massive facility at Roberts Road, which will rival NASA in not too distant future. SpaceX also plans to expand in California, where the company is scouting the possibility of expanding in Port of Los Angeles, with plans to build starships at all three facilities and build Raptor rocket engines at SpaceX Horton facility in Los Angeles, but they also have their head office right next to Tesla. At Boca Chica SpaceX facility, at the start of this year, much of the rocket hardware did not exist, nor did any of the tents buildings we see today. We work on expansion of the facility just starting. Starship parts in New facility are being built at rapid pace, and with recent job fare at SpaceX, this pace is bound to increase. Elon Musk says that SpaceX has effectively completed three of the hardest part of its first upgrade Starship prototype SN1, while additional two of the three of these parts, known as propellant tank domes, are already in work for second Starship SN2. 
Work on Boca Chica facility is in full wake. SpaceX contractors appear to be just days away from completing the shell of a second identical tent from one in the photo, ultimately doubling the space available for enclosed manufacturing operations. At the same time, as both Starship's hardware and production facilities are rapidly coming together, SpaceX is also erecting what is presumed to be a vehicle assembly building, a potentially massive structure that will protect vertical starships and super heavy boosters from the elements while workers assemble them into finished rockets. In simple terms, SpaceX has pivoted away from more boutique style of prototype fabrication used on Starhopper and Starship MK1 or Mark 1, and is now building Starship hardware extremely quickly. Evidently from number of completed bulkheads, nearly 40 rings, that will eventually form a Starships. Number of meeting tanks that are being built quite fast. The production on new Starships now runs like a clockwork, with assembly-like quality to it. Starships are being built concurrently, and no doubt SpaceX will further improve manufacturing as facility expands dramatically. Ultimately, SpaceX could complete both Starships by Easter and have first suborbital tests soon after, perhaps as early as April 25th. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Links in the description. By the way, before you go, please check out my friend's YouTube channel, Spaceship Mania. He makes these awesome models of Starship which you can buy at his shop. Also consider subscribing to his channel, helping him reach even greater audience. Thank you very much.